The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Visit yellowjacket.com to find out why Yellow Jacket is the industry standard in refrigerant hoses, tools, manifolds, and vacuum pumps, and many other tools. All right, guys, we're back on our little York unit that we did the ant pile on, if y'all remember. I cleaned the bottom out and there was an ant pile on it. We put a hard start. Well, it's not coming on. So let me get the door off and we'll see what we got going on. Okay, our contactor's pulled in. I'm gonna prop you guys up right there. Should be able to see the meter. No power. Okay, let's go in here. All right, let's see if we got power at the top of that disconnect. power at the top of the disconnect. I'll go check the breaker inside. All right, guys, the breaker was stripped inside. These are the fuses that came out of the disconnect. They're burnt. If no continuity passing through them. I do have power at the top of the disconnect now. We'll put some new fuses in there. See if she'll start. All right, guys, I got two new fuses in there. I bet you it tripped the breaker. That's exactly what's going on. Back to the top. Hard to do with one hand, guys. Bear with me. I dropped one of my leads. fuses this one's good it burnt that one <sighs> your damn compressors grounded all right common wire burnt you can see it down there that's why you don't ever condemn a compressor for ground in here at least not without checking that first either way this unit needs to be replaced because the condenser calls all messed up but i'm going to try to get them going uh today i'm going to try to put a new stake on on there and see if i can make this thing run the reason it was tripping the breakers because it was rubbing up against the casing and it was it was giving a short to ground so if i'd have checked it for ground here, I would have said, oh, it's grounded left, and, you know, the compressor's not really grounded. So, we'll try to get it running. I mean, we'll check it for ground, just for shits and giggles.
I'm not picking up ground. So we'll put a terminal on there, see if we can get it to run. All right, guys. I put a new connection on the common, on the compressor. Replaced the fuse that it burned. Let's see what happens. Pop the breaker. It tried to start. Oh. Huh. Well, that's about the weirdest damn thing I've ever seen. That's a good one there. All right, guys, it's running. For how long, I don't know. When I hit that disconnect, it tried, y'all saw it tried to start. And then right when I turned it off, I, could, I heard it try to start again. So I flipped the disconnect back up and it started. So it's running. But for how long, I don't know. But if I remember, this is the one we took the ant, where you can still see some of the ant here. And a connection coil. And in bad shape. We recommended a connection replacement then. They denied it. But definitely going to have to have one now. We'll see how long it'll last and if they let us do it. I'm going to go inside and see if the coil is rated for 410A. Or if we'll have to get one of those... Guardian Dark Coleman Luxair 407C units. Thanks for watching. See y'all on the next one.